One miracle was prophesied in age-old Native American stories and could be the miracle we've all been waiting for. I'm on my way to Arizona. It's a land 22 Native American tribes call home, a crossroads of spiritual cultures where nature's stunning canvas is a wonder unto itself. In the north, the Grand Canyon plunges more than a mile into the earth. And just 80 miles away, the San Francisco peaks soar more than 12,000 feet into the clear blue sky. Flagstaff, a keyway station on historic Route 66 and a junction for the railroads that helped settle the Wild West, sits at the base of the San Francisco peaks. It's a charming Western town that recalls the days of the Wild West. But I'm just passing through on my way to investigate a reported miracle whose birth was predicted thousands of years before the cowboys ever moseyed into these parts. As I've traveled the South and Southwest, I've discovered miracles take many forms. Here in Arizona, they have four legs and fur. 20 miles from Flagstaff lives the only herd of white buffalo in the world, and they're fulfilling an ancient prophecy unique to Native Americans. The story of the miraculous white buffalo goes back to the beginning of time when buffalo still roamed the plains. Do you think that the white buffalo being born is a miracle? It is definitely a miracle. It is uh, definitely a sign. It is uh, definitely a sign from nature. It's the symbol of, of what we are and what peace we are assumed to have. According to the legend, this peace could be right on the horizon. Thousands of years ago, during a widespread famine when Lakota tribes were fighting for scarce resources, a mysterious young Indian woman known as White Buffalo Woman, appeared before two Lakota hunters. She brought with her a peace pipe and announced that she would return at the dawn of a new age of peace. As she withdrew, the woman actually turned into a buffalo, changing color from black to brown to red and finally to white before disappearing. To this day, many Indian tribes believe the white buffalo to be the most sacred creature on Earth. And now I'm off to see the only existing herd in America. Has the prophecy come true? For many people, Spirit Mountain Ranch is a sacred pilgrimage site. But others see it for the first time on their way to the Grand Canyon and end up inspired to make an offering before they leave. Like the legend prophesied, these extraordinary creatures that have been said to heal the sick were born to ordinary people. Ranch owners Jim and Dina Riley. These are your guys. These are our babies. Wow, now who's who? This is Miracle Moon. She was our first white buffalo. And that's Rainbow Spirit back there in the back. She's our second white buffalo. Four, five, six. So it's six, but there's... Eight white. There's eight white ones. Eight white ones. Six centuries ago, buffalo roamed the plains in the millions, and Plains Indians hunted them, depending on them for survival. In the 1800s, the government advocated their destruction to subdue native tribes, and by 1900, their numbers had dwindled to less than 1,000. Before Miracle Moon's birth in 2001, white buffalo were thought to be all but extinct. The legend I didn't uh, find out until after Miracle Moon was born. She was born red like all baby buffaloes until she got older and turned white. As the months went on, the whiter she got. But is Miracle Moon the white buffalo of the ancient prophecy? Jim and Dina hoped genetic testing could determine if she was pure or if her ancestors had been crossed with cows, a common way that buffaloes gained white pigment. We took the blood and sent it in, and sure enough, it came back that she was 100% uh, buffalo. And so all the buffalo are 100% white buffalo, not yes. just one or two. I wanted to find out just how rare white buffalo are. I decided to ask conservation biologist Tad Timer at Northern Arizona University. How rare are white buffalo? Because I've read a couple different things. I've read that it's one in 10 million buffaloes are white. And then I go to the ranch, eight white buffalo. So that's like 
I don't know, I've been taking science in a long time, but that's right, like right. 10 to the power of something. That's like super rare, right? right? I mean, how rare are white buffalo? Right, and the problem is uh, we really can't ever know how rare they were historically. American Indian legends are that they were rare at that time. But then we have to know how many buffalo there were at that time. And there is a lot of debate about that. It could be 6 million, it could be 60 million. So where's the 10 million? Where's well, all the stuff I'm reading? My about only, my only um, hypothesis about that is that it's someone's guesstimate, that if you had somewhere between 6 million and 60 million buffalo originally, and you had a relatively rare event, well, 1 in 10 million is probably a pretty good guess. Mm -hmm. But there's no way anyone can know that, um, because no one was doing censuses of buffalo and how many white buffalo there were um, in they the were. middle of the 1800s. Well, they as were. far as I know, they weren't. But, uh, <laughs> so, doctor, I saw these white buffalo, mm -hmm. and they're quite extraordinary. Would you call, call it a miracle? I don't think I'd call it a miracle, necessarily, although it depends on how you define a miracle. So what ways can you get a white buffalo? Oftentimes, we think of white animals as being albino. But these white buffalo at the Spirit Ranch right. are not albino. Exactly. What we're actually looking at today that we're thinking are pure, pure buffalo may still have some cattle genes in them. If one of those buffalo, back at the turn of the century, bred with a cow, it could still be harboring a few of those cattle genes. And since there isn't a buffalo genome project at the moment, it's nearly impossible to know for sure if a buffalo has absolutely no cattle genes. But even Dr. Timer believes there's something miraculous about these creatures. The miracle is that they're here today because they were so close to extinction. And for a conservation biologist, that's a miracle to still have a species around. But I still wasn't ready to give up on the prophecy. Were there other signs that pointed to these animals as the miracles of the Lakota legend? How do you guys think it was here? Well, the mountain <laughs> behind us. So <laughs> this mountain over yes. here? If you look real close, you will see a buffalo on that mountain. And it oh, happens to see. be a white buffalo. Oh, right there. Yes, yeah, that's right. And it's right there on the corner. That's right. I it's can see it perfectly the right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if I turn this sideways right. like this, you'll see an eye, a nose, a lip, and the chin. It's a side view profile of a Native American spirit's face. That is as clear as day. Local Hopi and Navajo have for years considered this peak sacred, but not for the symbol Jim and Dina found. No one's ever seen that buffalo on that mountain until we had discovered that. And there are more coincidences, sudden inexplicable healings, like the visitor who tried rubbing some white buffalo fur on her debilitated knees. The next day she came to purchase some of the essence because her and her husband walked that mountain. She brought her wheelchair back the next day and gifted us the wheelchair and said she didn't need it. The buffalo are meant to bring peace. Now, obviously, that hasn't completely happened yet because we don't have peace throughout the world. But what do you think the buffalo will bring? It definitely brings people together right here. These animals are important to people all over the world. And when they come here, you can see that you know, at least they're, they have a place that they can feel that they are becoming one. The white buffalo is sacred to many Native Americans, and I can see why. They're extraordinary animals that serve as a tangible sign of peace and harmony. People from all over the world join together at Spirit Ranch. Even folks who just happen upon it by chance can't help but leave an offering behind because they felt something very special. And each offering represents an act of faith and of hope that miracles are possible and that this is the place where peace can begin. But farther east, there's another religious culture thousands of years old where miracles happen every day, voodoo. For many people, it's more about black magic than miracles. But is there more to voodoo than dolls?